So I think that uh, what, what physics tell us is that there are processes. Um, so given something, something else come out of it. And so there's change. Uh, if we have a number of these changes, we can arbitrarily choose some of the variables and use it to track the change. Okay. Yeah. So we can use the sun going up and down and say yeah. that's what, what I call time. Yeah. Um, or the pulsing of an atom. Or the pulsing of an atom. Or, uh, yeah. uh, quantum gravity is telling us that, uh, in this way we build a clock, right? That's a clock. Quantum gravity is telling us that no good clock no perfect clock exists, so you always will have clocks that go wrong with respect to one another. You always have clocks that uh, uh, don't last forever because they come down, they break. You choose a variable, but then uh, even the sun at some point will Sorry. stop burning. It. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, in a sense, quantum gravity is a discovery that this change is not nicely ordered. Mm. Already special relativity uh. is the discovery that the events are not completely ordered. Yeah. Yeah. Some are neither past nor future. Yeah. So just time is much more comp The temporal relations, the, cha the structure of change is much more complicated, uh, articulated, uh, than the simple linear long line from the past to the future that is in our intuition.